First this new time, Pinpoint Weather 12, tracking the impact of a storm in a weather alert. The wind shaking our camera lens this morning at Kennel Point, looking over the city of Providence. Strong winds overnight causing power outages all over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts just before the morning commute. Damage included trees reported down on some roads. The wind also kicking up things like a dining canopy in Cranston. Just some of the scenes being cleaned up today from this storm. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh joins us now live in Cranston with the developments there. Well, Patrick, you remember this morning we were a little bit down the street here over the Patuxent River looking at the shops and restaurants here in Patuxent Village and we saw a tarp go flying from this area. Well, later on this morning we came back over here and checked out the damage. They certainly got a lot of it, but we're finding they're cleaning up as the day progresses. This this parking lot that we turned into outdoor seating has been the savior for this place for all three of us. It's not just a torn tent or a broken planter at a time when outdoor dining is a lifeline for local businesses like these three restaurants in Patuxent Village. This morning's quick moving storm dealt a lasting blow. What's happening in the village is the first thing I thought of. The co-owner of Bagel Express was first to arrive and took this photo of what he saw. Quickly, he contacted the owners of Revolution Bistro and Fellini's Pizzeria. Six in the morning, as the wind still whipped, the owners and landlord were out cleaning up and making repairs together. All of us gathered here together, the landlord, my, my partner, Dean over here, and we did it. Fellini Pizzeria was hit the hardest. This storm, it's like, you know, you get a little momentum going and then something like this just pushes you back and it's, it's frustrating. They lost heaters, all tents, outdoor lights, and many umbrellas. But they're powering through and opening still just as planned, grateful for a supportive community. There was a, a woman out here earlier, I'm not sure who she was, but she wants to help pay for some of the damage. That's how this community is, it, it, it's crazy. Isn't that just incredible? It's a great message there. And one owner told me that, you know, this year, as many setbacks as they've had, they have found that it's really just about powering through and realizing the things that are positive in a situation. And in this one, it was that no glass was broken, no cars were damaged, and most importantly, no one was hurt. Live in Cranston, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.